Cancers, welcome to the beautiful downtown Cancun studios of David Sky Terror, I should say. Um, looking at your heart spread for December here, guys. This is the one that reads for you and the one that's on your mind and the one that's in your heart. And I use uh, um, eight cards. And last week did something a little different, so if you haven't checked out last week's read, always Tuesday is Gemini Cancer Day. So last Tuesday, a little more of an internal read. But using the heart spread, though, to kind of look at you and your own relationship with love and romance. So today we're back to the normal heart spread. And we're going to look at the one you're thinking of here, pre-shuffle, guys. Oops. <laughs> it wants to come out. Let me take them out together. I didn't want to come out together. But no three of these I want to come out. Huh. Um, I'm going to take that reverse. I don't really do reversals, but it really wanted to come out that way. These three together until they would roll. So this is you, and this is your person here, uh, Cancer. So when I see the Eight of Pentacles, this is you, where your mind and heart is at, in and around relationships and love. And I just, this is a very positive card. It's minor con, it's you doing the work yourself, your will, your actions, using your mind, putting your heart into it. And I think it's kind of see this as positive, so it's doing the good work, whatever that means. In terms of love and relationship, being honest, looking at yourself, being the hermit when you need to be the hermit, and tapping into the high priestess. The overall energy is the fool in this reading too. I love that. It's my kind of my favorite card as a sad. It's like whoop whoop. I don't know with cancers. You have to you don't necessarily have to leave home to be the fool. <laughs> Not cancer moon, so I can make fun. You know, posed by uh, Pluto right at the moment. Lamp lamp for me. Wow, so this is how your person sees you. Hopes and dreams and wishes. And they're coming in now as the hair font too, I should add. Though. So this is their energy in and around relationships. Where they're at, where their head is at. Could mean that they're uh, a Taurus personality. Um, it could just mean that they're already somebody that's married. What that means. Um, or that, you know, they're a very religious person. Like, um, this would be kind of like formally religious like the person you're interested with is a rabbi or a, or how that works when you call a priest when they don't get married um, something like this very most likely in this position um, it's somebody that's married and with the eight of pentacles wouldn't be surprised if you met them at work but nevertheless they see you with the hopes and dreams and wishes card as you know I, I don't know um, I don't feel like there was like manifestation involved. By the way, speaking of, check out this old family read. It's a collective read where it resonates more about manifestation, spirituality, than love like this. So it's up a daily too. Um, but it just shows that this is someone that probably is, is stable, married, um, and they're, but they're dreaming about greener grass. And that would be you here, okay? but you're kind of not feeling it so um you've probably been holding out now this is the energy with it being in reversed um it could be two a couple things it could be you kind of refusing to look at it from a different perspective or it meaning that you i read this as you've been holding out you've been holding out but but this being reversed you're about to give in could be it's i don't know a little jerry springer but you know, maybe they've been wanting to have sex with you. Maybe they, you guys did before. Maybe you're kind of like, hang man, I'm not, you know, I got you're married or whatever. Um, and now they're back and they might have some kind of effect on you too like, with this star. I mean, it's like, it, the effect would be when they look in your eyes here, Cancer, it's like you, you feel it how what they're really looking at you. It's like, you know, and not just, not well, sexual, but it's like charismatic as hell. And really what it is, is like you really do turn them on. You really are. Probably you're going to find that you have your sun on their descendant within 10 degrees. Uh, your Venus there, your Mars there, if you're a man, your Venus there, if you're a woman. Something like that. It's funny how astrology works. But also with the, any kind of thing like this, you know, Uranus is always out there usually involved in some relationship to Venus or Mars. Or possibly Moon or Sun. More like Venus or Mars in this. We do have the Fool as the overall energy. You know, um, I, I, I could see you uh, in this cancer. I don't want to kind of say slipping up, but kind of allowing yourself uh, with this full energy to get carried away 
and then kind of then backing out, kind of wanting to say, well, you know, and so that's kind of where we're at now. Let's see where this is going. Well, this is important. The next three cards are advice from spirit before we get the outcome. And this is your advice from spirit. I want to see which way these are going, huh? Your advice from spirit. And very significant that it's an eight of uh, wands. And this is advice for how best to interact with your person. But the wands are going back towards the eight of pentacles guys and I mean it's really strongly telling you to backpedal no other way to put this it's the spirit coming under the hangman because right here now you're in this hangman not seeing it from the right perspective or maybe you're starting to now as you're coming out of the hangman and you know what are you gonna do now and it's saying like for each one of those pinnacles each one anything you did it was hard work to get you where you are uh, you're investing eight wands and to me, it's like you're not putting them into this person. Literally, what here, it would be like if you're tempted to call this person here at Cancer, pick up the phone. <laughs> you tell how old I you know, just dial the phone with your rotary, you know, and pick it up, put it into your ear, and talk to a friend, you know, honestly, not a lover, an <laughs> ex-lover, a friend, and tell them, like, I was about to call that dude, I was about to call her, and, you know, that kind of thing. You know, because you know you got this full energy overall. It's kind of like you're a fool for them, you know. There's a reason for it. If it's a personal transit, it'll pass. Some of them, it's going to be Pluto shit, honestly. So, if that's there, it can take a long time. If it's something in Sinistry, one way to read Sinistry, if someone has, a say, Pluto on your moon, it's uh, yes, has a certain effect. But it's like a transit. Believe me, I got Pluto opposite moon. Let's say they have Pluto opposite moon. I can't even imagine so your entire relationship is existing in the energy of Pluto opposite the moon in some aspect, right? So that's how it would work. And then spirits telling them uh, four of wands, you know, um, that's to coming underneath the star. I got to tell you, this is a wah wah for a relationship, guys. Um, this is coming under the star. This is spirit telling if, you, if there is a cross watch. I don't know if there is, but. Pass this on, uh, Cancer. I'd love it if this would work that way. Just to, if you find it resonates, you know. I might, I'm trying to give helpful advice. It's very much a wonder, uh, energy uh, actions. It's telling them to put their actions into a long-term, stable, committed relationship or marriage, which I'm pretty sure they're already in. Not into you, just to be clear. So they're being told that. And, you know, when this, well, I say these three cards here, and one more crucially is the advice from spirit. So, yeah, this is how you're feeling to your person. Well, you already know how you feel. This is how they're feeling towards you. Maybe you don't exactly, you kind of do. Maybe that helps a little. We well, you know how you are. Maybe you don't know how they were. Probably you do. You knew they were married. But now we're getting advice from spirit. So that's really, uh, to me, telling us something here. In the Knight of Wands, and he's coming straight on, man. Knight of Wands, this is advice from spirit. I have got to get the outcome card to really interpret this because this, these two go together. You have to put one under another. So you have the Knight of Wands over the Magician. And the, significantly, I think very significantly, this Knight of Wands, these are actions and Mars energy. Go ahead and look at where Mars is in your chart. Hopefully it's in Leo where it's strong as shit. <laughs> Mars loves Leo, loves, Leo loves Mars. So, but this is taking very strong action and with the Magician card also then speaks to Mercury. Uh, there's so, so much to this. I've been posting about it. Mercury and Mars got together in Libra originally, Libra season. Then they just got together in Scorpio season. And they're plotting who to cut out of their life <laughs> and who to leave in. And this person is getting cut out and you're going to be taking action. And um, you may have to use all of your skills here. You know, your mind, your emotional commitment, uh, focus, uh, your pinnacles may take money, may take resources, connections, uh, physical things in some way. Um, and you're going to have to take action here. So um, in every way um, and swords, you know, so you're going to have to use your word. Everything's going to have to line up too. You're going to have to mean it, and you're going to have to say it, and you're going to have to back it up, you know, uh, with Venus and with uh, Mercury and then with Mars, all of it. And um, 
you know, um, it's almost too a little bit of an energy of uh, breaking out. I mean, maybe there's some energy here. Your face person might stalk you, might something like that with you. Their energy might stick with you. Um, the advice here is to kind of do whatever you have to do with the magician. The advice is you can do it. And this is kind of like you can do it yourself. Although I think like with pinnacles and the magician, it always gives you the option to get resources from other people, get help, borrow money, borrow energy, ask for help. This is, hey, I need a moving van. <laughs> this is what I mean, you know. So, Cancers, let me know what you think of this. Um, if you uh, do resonate, you got this bar, and you think somewhere to share this, any social platform, help me out and share it. Would like to get it out there. And um, otherwise, do uh, uh, hit the subscribe and the bell, as it were. And I have a strict uh, reading schedule. Tuesday is always Cancer and Gemini Day, so that's easy enough to remember. Thank you, guys.